And our moderator tonight, again, is Reza Aslan, who is the author of the bestsellers No God But God, and most recently, How to Win a Cosmic War. He's also the uh, chief creative officer of Boom Gen Studios, which is the first ever motion picture company that's focused entirely on entertainment about the greater Middle East and its diasporic communities. So uh, as Jordan mentioned, uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to facilitate a conversation uh, between Barry and Mark and Howard, uh, and then in hopes that after uh, a few minutes we can expand the conversation and get everybody else in involved here. I mean, we obviously have three luminaries in, uh, in the filmmaking business, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot to talk about and a lot of questions for everyone. Um, I thought I would get things started by, you know, mentioning the elephant in the room, which is, of course, that, you know, since, since September 11th, uh, 2001, uh, it seems as though, uh, you know, a trend that has always existed, I think, in modern filmmaking, which is uh, seeing uh, the Middle Easterner, whether it's the Arab or the Persian or what have you, as the other, as, you know, the, the villain, as the bad guy, has become, you know, fairly standard, at least certainly in, in the film and television that we were seeing immediately after September 11th. But the question that I have is that have you noticed, and maybe we'll start with you, Howard, because you've had a real uh, uh, personal experience of this, have you sensed a shift uh, in the entertainment industry, uh, in sort of the, the ways in which Arabs and or Muslims in general are being portrayed? Do you think that that's starting to shift? Uh, yeah. Is it becoming more complex? Well, you know, you know, it's hard to, you know, um, it's sort of a fixed object in my perception. and it's, 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 it's subjective and not at all kind of quantifiable. Well, actually, maybe it is, but I'm not prepared to quantify it. But my sense is that, uh, yeah, there is a, uh, um, a slow but sure uh, awareness that there is, that you know, we, 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 our content, our media, the world is a changed place. And I think I don't, I don't know. It's chicken or the egg thing. I don't know whether whether the, the whether the shows mm -hmm. and the television shows and movies are reflecting that changed world. Whether it's a conscious thing. Um, in my case, uh, it was a it was a conscious thing, and it was brought about by you know uh, being confronted specifically by advocacy groups about uh, you know the show and about its portrayal mm -hmm. of, of, of Muslims. Um, uh, I actually had a conversation with Omar, uh, uh, you know, uh, about a, a, a part that. Uh, 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 I had asked him to play, and uh, and we had you know a, a fairly constructive dialogue. You you wound up refusing to play the part, and I respected it. But uh, but um, obviously a show about terrorism, counterterrorism, in particular, is going to be a, a, a particularly tricky one. Um, uh, but I think that uh, I'm I'm happy with the way we've handled it on the show, and uh, um, I'm kind of. I'm not answering your question directly. Well, no, I mean, I've got to say, you know, and I'm not trying to pick on you at all here, but I, I, I've always thought that you got a little bit of a, of a, a bum rap. rap. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the reason is because everybody's a bad guy on your show. Absolutely. So, but, but of course, you know, this is a show about topical events. And well, again, and again a 9-11 made it particularly sensitive, I think, for, yeah. uh, you know, on, on this subject. And, and, um, but one thing that I have come to learn a little bit more, and again, it's, it's, is, is that, we do, as content creators, have a lot of. We, we are the face of America. We really we have uh, uh, our what we what we say and what we show and the stories we tell, uh, in many ways uh, uh, reflect what America is about. And so, without making it propaganda, without actually too willfully sort of sending messages, we really have to uh, acknowledge that we have this power. And, and I think opening our mm -hmm. eyes to to that fact uh, it can only be a good thing. See, that's a very interesting point. And Mark, uh, if maybe you could talk about this, do you feel, uh, as an Iranian American, do you feel that sort of added burden, an added responsibility to perhaps approach uh, stories about the region or stories in which characters are from the region, uh, you know, in a, in a different way? I mean, obviously, you have a, a greater responsibility to your company and to your shareholders. Uh, how do you balance those two? Um, first, um, let me say I, I cannot really take credit for any substantive change in any movie or anything. Um, there have been cases where I came across a script and there were some characters that were cartoonish or portrayed and 
I just made a comment. Sometimes there were projects that I wasn't even personally working on. And I said, look, this is, can we do this differently? And I can say they were minor enough always that you could do it with, without any really detriment to the project. Um, you know, as we all know, Hollywood has always been extremely competitive, tough marketplace, and now it's, even recently it's become much, much more so. Uh, so I don't think anybody can ask uh, anybody, any fiscally responsible, especially when you're dealing with public companies, to make a movie, to send a message, you know, the old adage, and yeah. Hollywood say, if you want to send a message, use Western Union, don't make a movie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so in that sense, um, I think, you know, what I've seen, the few minor things I've seen, like the characters, the things, I've been able to recommend changes been implemented because it didn't really affect the film. Uh, I have not been in a situation, in a project where it was, a, what do you call it, pivotal to the story or something. If you changed, you would change the movie or affect the, you know, commercial prospects of the film. So I haven't been in that situation. Uh, and I, I'm trying to think it's really kind of, it's, uh, it's hard to imagine a situation like that. Uh, if you look at, and probably Howard can confirm this, you know, we, we, there, there is, uh, there's a lot of leeway, even if, now, for example, we can never say, oh, let's not have any bad Muslims. Of course, we have bad everything, and you can have, the question is, can you portray it honestly and uh, n not be, uh, uh, not make it a stereotype? Uh, so I, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's more of a convenience, frankly, and I was just talking to some people here about, uh, I remember myself as a child, you know, fan of Western movies, and, um, Literally, until I came to America in the late 60s, uh, in Westerns, Indians were always bad guys. Yeah. I, th I mean, you cheered for the white guys, and you wanted them to kill the Indians, and it was always this uh, stagecoach going through a thing, and Indians attacking, and so that was, and then first time, um, you know, people who were older remember the movie Soldier Blue came out, and that was like a pivotal movie in the history of Hollywood where suddenly you had a movie that showed completely differently. And now if you think of it, it's really, you know, it was with Candice Bergen, mm -hmm. you know, it was like more people talked about Candice Bergen being discovered in this movie. But also the message, the portrayal of Indians, an uh, honest portrayal of Indians for the first time ever became, uh, uh, that's what that put that movie on the map. Um, no, of course, is we've never had anything like that, and I'm, I've always been thinking it would be great if, we, if somebody could come up with a project like that, which would uh, kind of, and would be a commercial film, and people, it wouldn't be a message movie at the same time, somehow, uh, you know, show that aspect of the, the whole Middle Eastern Muslim a quarter or a fifth of the world's population, uh, you know, which happens to be at this time in the history of the world among the most disadvantaged, uh, you know, portion of the population of the world. So is there something, uh, is there a movie, I haven't come across, and if I were to come across it, I would love to try to produce it, and I can't even, even imagine the story so we can develop it, but I think that would be a, a interesting. So uh, I, sorry, I, I, I don't have yeah. a easy answer for that. I don't know if I answered the